Hey fellow gamers, it's Cozy Mel and I am here with a Paleo video for you. Tonight we have a very, very special video. We are touring Renegade Steelers Plot. And, uh, or Steeler Renegade, I guess it's the other way around, but uh, he has got an amazing, amazing spread here for us to look at. You can probably tell just by the panning of the front that you are in for a real treat. And I hope you stick around till the end because there are some wonderful surprises. Some things that I'm pretty sure you probably have not seen in any of the house tour videos you've watched. So this should be a good one. And I am gonna let Ren take it from here. Hello everybody, welcome to my plot. Uh, I'm a retired Air Force veteran. I have no life, so this is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> this has been this has been nine weeks in the making, and uh, this is my cakewalk. It started as a joke. Yes, cakewalk. It's funny, but not funny. Okay. That oh, joke, it's I just, funny. I, I, leave it in. I think the cakewalk <laughs> is funny. I actually said when I first saw it that I thought it really smelled good. For some reason, I could smell <laughs> the desserts. <laughs> smell the desserts. Okay, yeah, and then we come over here, and it's, it's my basic basic outdoor kitchen. I don't do uh, cake parties, so I don't have to have much. Now, this here is my uh, miniature restaurant, four-table restaurant, a little uh, hostess station here, and uh, got, got a little restaurant going right here. That's uh, something... This uh, is what I mean there. by it is just, you can almost smell it. It's just <laughs> as aromatic as it is beautiful. Really pretty. Lovely patio area. This is uh, a, an idea stolen from another, so I can't take credit, but this is a, my bathtub planters. Built I the absolutely with love plants. it. And I have not seen it at another plot. And I watch a load of these videos. So, and this is a back to back ranch house bathtubs, right? Right, right. I don't remember where I got it from, but I know I got it from somebody. I just don't remember who. So it depends on your vision and how you see using it. And Ren's just got a great touch. Yep, yep. All right, now I didn't like this frog at first. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't using it, but then I got to the idea to put a plant inside of it. I absolutely it became, love it. Now, it did planter, you so. did you have to splice those two pieces together, or can you just sit a plant in there? Just sit a plant in there. Ah. <gasps> oh. That's so great. Okay, I have to tell you now I'm stealing the idea. I'm doing this. Right, at hey, my house. please do. Please do. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, this is a working farm. So I do have weeds. <laughs> so Don't we all? Turn, turned off my lamp. Turned off my lamp. Okay, get rid of that. Unsightly. Unsightly. All right. So Apple trees are my beautiful. Here. Okay, I got my, uh, I got an empty gazebo here. I'm going to create a future project, which I don't have all the items for. It's probably going to include the Phoenix run and maybe some other stuff. All right, this is my Blue Marlin display area. I displayed the Blue Marlin because it took me three hours to catch this turkey. And what did you have to fish with? Is it glow worms or regular? I forget. Oh, regular, regular worm. On regular the worms. Coast. How many do you think you used? Oh my goodness! I can't even imagine how many I used. Oh my Three gosh. hours. It took me. I hooked him once, lost him, and then didn't hook him again for three hours. This furniture is ranch house, correct? Correct. But it does not I look like, the, like ranch house at all. I like the ranch house stuff. I like all the ranch house stuff. So I use it extensively. I, I think that people that are watching might not know what it is. Because once you have modified it and recolored and these, it, it's a totally different set. And these lamps here are from the Dragon... Dragon... Or, yeah, uh, Dragon Tide. Yeah, uh, drag, no, 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 no. Yeah, Dragon Tide. 
dragon tide uh, wall colored, sconces and yeah I colored, I colored them to match the couches and i thought that was cool yeah it looks great it does run it looks great then, then hidden back here is the tool test for modifying furniture i don't know why it's there just threw it in <laughs> thank you for showing me that little secret <laughs> i can't believe that was just now, hidden yeah yeah this is my little bug gazebo. I didn't really know what to do with this gazebo. So I just threw a bunch of bugs in here. But, uh, but I, I think you're enjoying the gazebos and the yes, pavilions. I, am. <laughs> I love them. So, because like you've done like quite a few and, and you do them all differently and they all work out so well. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of symmetry. I, I you know, I kind of can recognize that. If there's something to the right, there's something to the left. You know, it's uh, I got a little, a little bit of OCD going, so yeah. I have to, <laughs> but it's just it works just beautifully right. for you. And these are the sofas I was the most curious about, and I had to ask him. I said, "Is this really a Kilima sofa?" Because no sofa, way, yes. you you don't notice those pillows on the Kilima sofa. All right. Now I'm. This is a work in progress back here. I'm, I started to make a little, like, a fish uh, wall, if you will. Uh, and then it comes out on my other empty gazebo. Two empty gazebos that I have not started because I don't have the items for it yet. And I'm not going to say anything, but I want to point out: don't forget these trees, everyone. You will see the result oh. of this tree <laughs> mastership later. Yes, this. Uh, these are oak trees, and they're against the house. You will, you'll it, see later. And this is a perfect example right here of the two wallpapers. Um, the green no, leaves at the bottom, that's one wallpaper. And the wood shingle at the top is another wallpaper. But they're both showing on one side um, of the house. And now you the can bottom one, the bottom one, you put if you put a wallpaper on the bottom, it goes it wraps around the house. You can only use one wallpaper on the bottom. But the top one, you have to put on each side of the house that you want it on. So you right. have to run around the entire house, place okay. the wallpaper. But so the bottom, does it you just do does one. it only give you that effect on a harvest house or any no. room? No, that's my whole all my houses are like that. I love it. Not I just, just love it. That is something that you don't see. And I think the, that everybody out there watching is going to love that. That's so cool. <laughs> and this here is my uh, makeshift item uh, museum. All the makeshift items I get, I put in here. Most of them I end up throwing away. I wish I'd have kept half the ones I threw away. I could have made a better museum, but. Oh, so oh far. my gosh. No, at first you mean maybe, did you throw them away thinking they weren't cool or something? Yeah, yeah. When I started, about a month or so, uh, all the makeshift items I just thought were trash, so I was throwing them away. Oh my and then gosh. I, I just display them. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of compliments on this planter here. This is a makeshift planter. It came from fishing, and I've gotten about 10 of them, and I've thrown about eight of them, or Six of them away. Oh no! I love this planter. I use <laughs> it at my house in all kinds of things. I really like it. I think it works uh, well, well in your situation here. And oh, I love this coloration of your furniture. Now, once again, this is ranch house, right? That is right. I love but the you've ranch. Done it, you, you've done you'll it. You'll see in that the, all through the my my plot. You've done it in the blue. This is Shore, yes. Which is called Shore, and it is so dynamic. It is just so masculine. I love it. All right, then I just threw uh, three of those uh, bellflower chairs over here. A little sitting area with a little crescent chest. thought that was kind of interesting. It's kind of a nice contrast with the blue of the dragon tide tables and then the trunk in the front. Not not a you know, not enough people really make use of the trunks like that, those nice treasure chests. So So this took me more than five hours. 
the time. You guys so are going to be blown away likes- when you see this bar. Oh, my gosh. Uh, as Gina Five hours, say, I'll never get back. <laughs> oh, my dragon, as Gina would say. Uh, what will it be, young lady? I would like <laughs> a New England style India pale ale. <laughs> the cloudier, the better. Uh, um, <laughs> you look like you've got some, that. <laughs> some IPAs. I don't have any of that. Here's, a, here's, a, here's an amaretto sour. You'll just have to be happy with that. Thank you. The IP now, access is granted because I don't know the owner, so it's okay. Did you make the bottles or did you buy them at Tish's or a combination of both? I made them all. Everything here I made. Oh, my gosh. And then, of course, with the wine bottles, you've used the modification bench to good effect to get those various. almost everything on my farm. (laughs) I mean, it is amazing. Now, these happen to be Bellflower uh, sofas in their original color, but look at this rug. It matches them perfectly. And this rug is supposed to be brown, folks. In case you haven't seen it before, this is not its natural color. <laughs> then oh, I, wow. I incorporated I incorporated the light post uh, thing I here. Love the way you see geometrically. You look at something straight and square and you've turned it into a circle. That just uh, looks beautiful. I'll try to walk I'm so glad slowly. You, I'm, so, I'm so glad you were able to visit at night because it, it looks amazing at night. Not so much it, during the day. It really does. I just hope people can get half the effect. Oh, here. Yeah, this back off is a really nice view. Oh. This pavilion here with my uh, what, uh, fountain, it's fountain pavilion. And I throw in a dragon tide couch here with my little kappa, kappa head. <laughs> this was another sofa, kids, that took me a second to recognize it in this color. I mean, my brain wasn't connecting right off the bat that this was dragon tide. I am really, really impressed with how different things look here on Ren's plot than they do in Tisha's store. (laughs) It's really done a great job. All right. I think we've finished the outside, so now we can start on the inside. Oh, and let me tell you guys, there's not just one inside. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, this is... This is all my tools, uh, obviously boring stuff, but come in here to the Paltech room. Just threw a bunch of stuff together. It's very busy in here, but it's very colorful. We all have to have a nice place to work, and I love it when people incorporate their working uh, machines on the inside of their house. But look at this, guys. Oh, come on. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, 20,000 leagues under the sea or something. (laughs) This is, uh, the Paltech is so cool. This has been such a great addition to the game. Yeah, I slapped slapped this together the the night that uh, Paltech was released. I just built everything and threw it in, threw it all in one room. (laughs) And, And again, this gives such a masculine vibe to what, can quite often be a really feminine place, a paleo home, you know. So it goes perfectly with your workroom. Definitely goes perfectly. It almost makes the workroom machines look better. <laughs> mm-hmm. It elevates them. Like right here between these two glass makers, having that bent pipe just elevates that whole little scene in that corner. I love it. You're doing such I a great job. I threw one over here too, just to, just to, I don't know why, just to make up, take up space, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, you ran. It's just fantastic. <laughs> and this, I'm very proud of this room. My workshop spent very much time in here. This is where all the magic happens. Oh wow! 
again with all of these bottles and jars and tubs that you made yourself. Hours and hours. Now, I, I'm, if for anybody that's new, brand new players, you might not realize these things are things that you can make on your workbench if you have clay. And you get the clay by mining it only along the edge of the lake. Wren, you had to have mined a, a, a 5,000 of them. Oh, don't get me started. Uh... <laughs> to make all of this out of clay. Uh Yes. Now, I've been uh, asked before, this sink right here came from a lucky coin from Zachy. at Recky's store. Zachy's store. Yeah. And it looks perfect in here. It's called the Valley Sunrise Sink. And uh, in interestingly, when I decided to make a, a, a workroom workshop, that was the first item I got. That gave me the idea to make the workshop. <laughs> it really works well in here, but you know, these walls are perfect. And we just got these walls at the Magi Market. So uh, the the Luna Magi Market, right? Is where that and wallpaper check, came yes. from. Now, if you check out the floor, it's reclaimed wood. Oh, so, look at goes. that. This is my display room. Display all my goodies. I had four rubies that I sold before I started collecting gems. So this is only two weeks worth of collecting gems. Oh so my gosh! I don't are... have many yet. Uh, you have a lot compared to most of us. Does the lamp above it look interesting? Uh, the upside down bookshelf. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> or window shelf, <laughs> wall shelf. I love doing that. I just think that is so great. Okay, this is my uh, guest house. So I yeah, started did with you, this did, did bathtub. You catch, did you catch that, everybody? This is where his guests stay. This isn't even his home. This is for guests. Started, started with the uh, bathtub planter. <sighs> Again, everybody, this is a ranch house bathtub like the one you would see in Badger's home. But he's he's modified it and changed this the color. This is a dragon tide tub. Dragon tide tub and Over bellflower here. sink. Oh. Uh, no, it's classic. I classic. Think it's classic. Classic. Oh, it's classic. It. So all of this is done in classic. Yes. All the pieces of furniture, they're not all from the same set. But oh. after he's colored them, they just look like they belong together. And even the rug. I even got dressers in here from the Homestead collection. There's Homestead. Holding the fish. Dresser holding with the fish. The fish. He's got a capital chic rug here that is also dyed. This looks like a bellflower sink yes. and mirror. And they are also dyed. Oh, he's got the toilet. <laughs> he's dyed. The toilet, ladies and gentlemen. Now we've seen everything. <laughs> I even got industrial wall decor up there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And it's also been modified. Yes. And even right down to the chopper rug. Everything has been modified in this classic colorway, which makes five different kinds of furniture sets all go together perfectly. Uh, just amazing. Really great, man. And if that, if that bathtub wasn't enough, you can come out here and get, get a little warmer. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if you're just doing a little bathing for one, you can be inside. And if you've got several friends over, you can come out and sit in the hot tub. Remember now, this is a guest house. It's just a guest house. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. A little seating area here for oh. the guests. To now, Enjoy. this is a little bit larger than a hallway. Is this a small room? This is small room. But you're kind of using it as a pass-through, and it works beautifully. Yes. Now, this, this here is my favorite item in the game, these oriental wall fans. I kind of stuck them on the side of the, side of the wall here to make a little you, curtain. Yeah, it's a little separation, <laughs> <Curtain line. laughs> a little privacy. But 
they're still beautiful. This is the first of the two guest bedrooms. Again, he's made a light fixture with the upside down shelf. And this one's got two of the lights hanging from it. It does look just like a vanity. And this master, I mean, this bedroom, bathroom I just made a couple of days ago. So I, I had to ask him tomorrow. what if this was the <laughs> um, bellflower bed because it does not look like the bellflower bed. <laughs> It just the uh, something about it just it's changed. It's so changed. It's just amazing, and I like that you used the uh, Oriental paper wallpaper in here too. It just yeah yeah. Up. I just I just love it. I love it. I'll, I'll throw it in here. It is so you, and it goes with the ranch house furniture just perfectly. Okay, now we've got ourselves a nice bathroom for guests. Now we're looking at industrial uh, furniture. Uh, this died, what, what's it called? Cathea uh, or ca like cal that? Yeah, no. it's like Calathea or Calathea. <laughs> I am not sure how people say it. The door leads out to the bar. All right. So the, if you are um, guests here at his house, you have a direct access to the bar. <laughs> oh, look how beautiful. It's not cluttered. And yet oh, every yeah. inch seems filled. This is more industrial furniture and my favorite item in the game. These Oriental fans, I use them everywhere. I hope I didn't use them too much. <laughs> I don't, you know what? I don't think you have. All right. And this is the second of the guest bedrooms. All you ladies out there who love your dragon tide. One's a little nicer because it doesn't lead to the bar. I got the little uh, flower flower fountain area in here. I thought that was kind of nice. A little little uh, hallway thing. So this is the hallway size. When I was uh, pointing it out earlier, that was actually the small room, and he used it as a hallway. Oh no! This no, no, is no. a that hallway is a that he's used as yeah. a nook. <laughs> And there's some more of his favorite fans. They go perfectly with the fountain. And they do go great with Dragon Tide. You just, uh, you can't hardly have Dragon Tide without the fan. Those are This beautiful. is another new bathroom. I just did these bathrooms about two days ago, both of them. Didn't have any wow. bathrooms for the guests because there was one, the main, the big bathroom you come in, I was using that as a, a dual bathroom, but then I thought, you know, I'll put a bathroom in each room and then everybody will be happy. And this is another time when those of you out there who have not used your modification bench, or maybe you don't have a modification bench yet, this is a way for you to see how beautiful things can come out. Because oh, um, I highly suggest it. <laughs> this table, this is a uh, capital chic. It would normally be navy yes, blue. Look at that red. That that uh, flower pot in the window that's normally blue and gold. Look how beautiful it is in the red. Well, that's, what's the investment to get a modification bench? It's <laughs> well worth a it. heck of a thing. But I gotta tell you, it gets expensive. I've been to uh, Tish's. I've been to Tish's um, uh, cash tester so many times. I just can't stand it. Okay, so what he's talking about, everybody, if you don't know, is that there's a cash register at Tish's store, and you will buy your modification kits. One is a hundred dollars. Is that right, Ren? Uh, that's a great. A hundred gold. gold. I think that's right for one. And each piece of furniture, depending on the size, might take two or three or five. You can yep. spend five hundred dollars or five hundred gold modifying one sofa depending, you know. So there is a lot of money in modification here. Oh, now, now, we're just now getting to the main event. <laughs> Although many people would say your exterior is such a main event of its own with that bar. Oh, yeah. I, I worked so hard on that bar, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I bet. Oh, uh, look, everybody. There's just so much detail. 
every single detail has been met right down to the point that he has the doors open on the display shelves in these, <laughs> in these closets. Look, there are steaming dishes of food on display in these closets with the door open so you can see them. It's just every every detail is the thing with Ren. His he covers every detail. There's nothing missed. I I can't imagine another thing that would need to be in here to make it perfect. It just this is your dining room, Ren. Is that what you said? This is my dining room. This is my formal dining room. Yes. And you this have a guest. Bellflower. Bellflower. You have a yes. guest with a pie at your bellflower I, table. I, he he's enjoying his pie. Don't, don't mess with him. He's uh he's hungry. <laughs> I don't want to get my finger bitten off. <laughs> You'll swallow your hole, he will. And this is one Kathy. of the um active wallpapers. So the actual there's movement in these dynamic wallpapers and uh it really comes off in this room. It almost feels like a, a terrarium or something that you've just stepped into. Don't don't notice the orange wall fans. I use them too much. Just, just ignore them. Uh, I really like them, <laughs> though. This is the master bedroom. Oh, the first thing is this rug, which is actually two rugs on top of it each is. other. But it is majestic. This Ormu has never been so majestic as he is tonight on this rug. Just beautiful. But it goes with, you know, his ranch house aesthetic. He's got the ranch house aesthetic here in this room. But he offset it with that almost orient wallpaper. It's a bamboo, you know, so it makes mm. you think of koala bears and pandas. And then you've got ranch house furniture, but it's been modified into the classic color and you just can't hardly recognize it. it, it it's almost like Ren has doubled his choices of furniture. You know, uh, it's like he has twice as many to choose from as the rest of us because... He's taking the time to color all of it. <laughs> it's not cheap, but it's well worth it, as you see. And, and this is a that. really cool effect you did with the triple curtain. Was yep. it very was uh, it was it hard to get the triple curtain up on the wall? No, no, you just turn you just put one up there and then you turn one and then you turn the other one and it works just just well. And this is another bathroom that you I'd had... do more that uh, I'd do more that way with those curtains, except I keep running out of silk. Anybody out there got some silk? You just had it, send it my way. But look at the Oromu rug in this color down here at my feet. I mean, it's totally different than it looked in the other room. I just I am amazed. And this is one of the new wallpapers. I believe this one is also from the Matchy Market. And it's got such... I a, really don't remember. <laughs> it's got such a great feel. The, there was an Art Deco feel to some of the Matchy Market wallpapers that's really added a lot to our houses. And this one also was from the Matchy Market. And it adds so much to our houses to have these new papers. Just beautiful. And his privacy from his fans. This room here was uh, inspired by Jill. Uh, call it my vampire room. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> Jill would be right at home here. I, I don't know what you would have to do to get Jill to leave. I don't think he would leave. He would probably yeah. sit in this chair and stay. <laughs> oh, you've got one of your uh, trophies above the fire. Yeah, yeah. Now we know why the Moochin ran away. <laughs> He's got their head no. 
<laughs> I'm going to hunt them all down. All right. Now, this is my Capital Seek room. Oh. And wow. my my best attempt at creativity is this wall. Please Wait until don't judge turns. too harshly. I'll try to turn <laughs> so you guys can see it. When you slowly come up to it, look at that. It's just beautiful. And you know, the lighting, if you didn't have the ceiling light and those two wall sconces, it wouldn't look the same. The lighting really adds to it. Those, Did you come up with this? From the industrial. Did you come up with this design yourself? This is beautiful. Yes, yes. I just threw it all together. It's very geometric. So to me, it is very Ren. In the short time that I have become <laughs> friends with him, this this <laughs> just speaks of Ren to me uh, as much as anything. Wow. And he's and done here, some more. Yeah, over here, I turned the lamp upside down. I thought that was cool, so I left it there. <laughs> Do you see what he's just pointed out? He's got one upside down and one right side up. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. But he's also combined uh, two chandeliers from two different sets. Doesn't matter. Looks great. And uh, the capital Seek chandelier and the industrial chandelier. Ah. Uh, and the, and this this here uh, spotlight, I guess you could say, is from the Ravenwood collection. Oh. Uh, this room here, I have no idea what it is. It doesn't make sense. I threw it in to display some moon, moon stu moonstruck stuff, and uh, I don't really know if it fits in the house, but there it is. I, you know, I don't think there's anything that doesn't fit in the house when it's displayed the way you've done it and yeah. colored things the way you've done. I've got Paul McCartney's loot over here. <laughs> I just... Signa signature theory, special edition. <laughs> One of one. One of one. <laughs> Signed. None of the strings are broken. This thing's worth a million. I wouldn't have thought of combining the purple in the moonstruck with the teal blue in these glass wall white wallpaper, but it it works. I like this these little room game dividers. Room. Yeah. This is my game room, and I hate this game. <laughs> I oh, score, I score like six points. <laughs> Oh, so you've actually played the game. Yes, you can play I, the game. I have one of hard. these. I, I must say I have not tried it. I just put it in for looks. <laughs> I, did, I get enough frustration in a day. This, this, door, leads to the, this door leads to the um, fish walk. Wow. So is this... All right. Okay. Now we're getting we're getting near the end. So keep we're up. Almost there, kids. <laughs> All right. So when I and originally if you start did my house, to, if you start tonight and you work eighteen hours a day on it, you could have a house like this in three months, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so so the original house was all log cabin. So I thought, what better way to throw homage? To the the original house was then to make a log cabin room oh. with all the log cabins. So I just threw them all in here. Got throw a fireplace in, couch, and just sit back and relax. Do you know that's one thing that people people say? Oh, I wish I could sell my old furniture, or I wish I could destroy it and get some of the uh, parts back and remake something new. And I totally understand mm -hmm. that. Most of us have uh, all of this furniture put away in a chest and we don't display it now that we've learned to make something else. But look how beautiful you, you the, made it. You mentioned the rug before and that's that's its original color right there. It's not dyed. Oh, oh there you go, it's everybody. Not. That's what color it's supposed to be. I was so shocked 
when I saw it in the other color. I, I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh my gosh, that rug. Okay, but, now hide your, uh, in your eyes when you go into this room. My wife okay. said I overdid this room. She said uh -oh. I overdid it. So please wait a minute. Bren's wife has spoken and says that he's overdone our room. Are you kidding? Every room has just been so perfectly balanced. We're going to slowly enter. Oh, my dragon. I mean, look at that. Remember earlier when I showed you those oak trees outside, Ren was telling you what they were? This is why I wanted you to remember them. I love this. Now, what he has done is he's combined one of the dynamic wallpapers. And I believe the dynamic bamboo is from Zeki, isn't it? Downstairs in the basement. Zeki's cash yeah. register, I think. And then and he's also the used... The ivy wallpaper on the back wall. He's used the new ivy wallpaper that we just got. I think that was also one from the Magi Market. Just... Look at that with the trees coming through. I have seen plenty of people clip the trees into their houses. And I've never seen one done so beautifully. This is really amazing. I'm going to try to turn around. I blush. I blush. Oh, <laughs> you did. It's just there. I got a little bit of the distance back. So you guys could just take a, lo a look around, a last look at this. I I can't believe your wife says it's overdone. I think then, it's then just I made, right. Then I made trees out of this, whatever you call it, this here uh, cabin wall decor, log cabin wall decor. It is. Ma made them into trees, one on each side, a little different. It and of gives, course, got to throw in some oriental it gives wall text thing. It gives texture. <laughs> Because you can feel it. You can touch it and it extends away from the wall. So your wallpaper, you know, it's dynamic. It's moving. So it's not exactly coming up as flat anyway. And then you add an extra element to give it even more texture. And uh, people don't think to do that with a dynamic wallpaper. They let it just stand on its own merit, but not Ren. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> To where it's, you know, it's just elevated to another level. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the tour. <laughs> I really appreciate you taking us on this tour. This house oh, is so, honor. it's so amazing. Do, do you have a favorite spot in your house? I uh, bet you it's hard to I name one. You. I like my, uh, I like the bar, but I think my favorite is the workshop. Simple, useful. I just, I just like it. I'm you know, you have it. probably spent a lot of time in that workshop. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you know, and and the fact that you still love it means you still like doing this, even after all of this. What what will you do? Uh, well, you do still have a couple uh, of couple of gazebos. <laughs> well, my biggest, yeah, yeah, my biggest enjoyment yeah. of the game is showing people my plot. But if I have to add up how many hours you have played in order to have the displays that you have, all the bugs you've caught, all the fish you've caught, all that clay that you had to mine, all the mining you did to have all those gems on display. I mean, you are out there. You're playing the game. Uh, I put in uh, nine weeks of 16-hour days. Are you kidding me? That's it. You I seriously? Play all the time. <laughs> you have put 15 hours a day for nine weeks? Yes. Oh, are you exhausted? Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm ready for more. Ready for more. New, well, uh, new items. Got to get some new items. I think that. I'm ready. I, 
I think that I'm, I, I'm, I'm just out of words. As my friend Commit would say, I am out of words. But I cannot wait to see more, which really surprises me because there's so much already. But I can think of a few things. You haven't done the kitchen clutter yet. All kitchen the clutter? new kitchen clutter, the pots and pans, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, china, yeah. the silverware. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to that yet. <laughs> you've got to redo your entire dining room, and I will come back and see your dining room table set with uh, eight yep. eight place settings or more. <laughs> I do plan to do that. I do plan to do that. So yeah, you've got that. is the key to life. <laughs> and um, you probably might do some roofs, different roofs or things for daylight enjoyment. Now, this door goes out to the cakewalk, right? Yes, it does. I love that. Now, how did the cakewalk start as a joke? Okay. Uh, I was making the restaurant and... Someone was touring my plot. I can't remember who it was. And they said that I had I had made uh, a very nice area. And I said, oh, it's a cakewalk. And I just thought, cakewalk? Hmm. So I put a bunch <laughs> of cakes down. It was just a joke. I thought, this is a cakewalk. <laughs> nope. I put them down, and everybody loved it, so I just left it there. So it literally came at just jokingly saying, oh, it's a cakewalk. When it's nothing yeah. like a cakewalk, the work you have done. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of hard work. I, yeah. I, I love know. this. I love the way he's done the fences around four trees, you know, or eight trees. Uh, <laughs> so many of us have just done the fencing with one tree because you're limited on how many pieces of items you can put on a plot. And Vren, have you reached the limit ever? Oh. Wow. Well, <laughs> lucky for you, we have twice the limit that we had last fall. You probably weren't playing last yeah. fall. And we were limited to half the number of items that we have now and half the number of rooms on your plot. So what you have done... Uh, I love this. I love this entrance. I love the way, again, I love the way your geometry works in your brain, that you take things and make them into circles and, and triangles. And, uh, you know, you just do the kind of things that I don't think of and that a lot of us don't think of. I love to turn around and look back at the house, too. Look at how beautiful that fence is. Oh, friend, it's just amazing. And I am sure that every single person watching this video has gotten an idea that they can't wait to run with. And I hope you won't sue us all because you're going to be oh, seeing I, these on our houses. <laughs> I, I'm absolutely honored to have people uh, enjoy the plot and take, take ideas away. That was my 100% my goal was to... You Help have other people. You you have reached your goal. If your goal was to give us inspiration, I have goosebumps. Just to inspire people was my only goal. Just standing here, looking across the front, right to left, like this, just panning it, gave me literal goosebumps, and that doesn't happen to me very often. I I have to say, uh, I feel a little jaded sometimes. I've seen so much beauty in this game. I love this game and what mm -hmm. you have done here is going to show so many people what can be so done. nervous. Oh, don't I'm be so nervous. When you, when, when you, when you said you were going to tour my plot, I was like, Oh my gosh, are people going to like it? I don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do with myself. So I just sit here oh. rocking back and forth. Oh, people are going to just love it. It's just, uh, it's amazing. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Ren. And I will be oh, back when you finish honor. those gazebos and you get that dining okay. room table set. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a few items out there that I'm looking at wanting. So uh, maybe I'll, uh, that I want the koi pond. I know that. Oh, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Just imagine 
if the developers give us more colors on the modification bench, what will you do? Will you just wow. fall over? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I won't know what to do with myself. And Tish, Tish is the character I'm courting. Time well spent. Thank you so much, so sir. So happy you could be here. I am so happy to be here. So honored to tour this house. It's just beautiful. Thank you for your service. And thank you for your service to this game. Because uh, right. this, this is appreciated. So many people who, who can't get out. People who have special needs. People who are differently able and are able to play this beautiful game. Um, you know, you're doing a service for all, all of guess- us. Too. I gotta tell you, people, my you can't see it, but my heart is smiling. It is literally smiling right now. I I I really hope it is because you have brought tears to my eyes. You've made me have goosebumps, and I I just don't ever get like this. But this is really a, a beautiful tribute that you've made here, and uh, I think that you have continued your service to all of us. And I really appreciate it. And I know everyone will that sees the video. And I can't wait to let you know when it goes live. Absolutely. I can't wait. Okay. Looking very much forward to it. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody. And if you made it this far, oh, my goodness. I really appreciate and love you. And it matters a lot to YouTube if you subscribe to my channel. So it has to matter a lot to me. If you want to see more videos like this one, just ring that bell and like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.